Hi, this is Klaus at Top Hydraulics. We're going to show you now how to remove the front latch or um, front bow lock cylinder or first bow lock cylinder on a 370Z. Um, typically, the fifth bow cylinders left and right and the front lock cylinder and even the rear or fifth bow lock cylinder fail at about the same time because the seals and the cylinders are exposed to the same amount of heat being directly under the canvas getting fried if the car is out in the sun a lot same uh, on that rear bow lock cylinder anyway we have, have separate videos for the removal of the other cylinders here's the first or front bow lock cylinder its removal is slightly unconventional but not difficult um, there are five t25 torx bolts we've removed the uh, three on the far end already on this metal trim piece that actually holds the canvas in place in the in the front so we take these uh, five bolts out and um, the metal plate stays attached to the canvas for now and then we lift up and flip the canvas over the um, first bow. This is officially the first bow. It's the metal piece that's called the bow. So here's the first bow and now we'll move the camera around and uh, show you how to get at the um, cylinder. It's fairly simple to remove. So we're uh, looking at the roof latch cylinder, the top lock cylinder, and we have already peeled the uh, canvas down um, off the front of the uh, first bow. And here we see the cylinder. We need uh, just a few little tools to get this going. Um, prep work is everything. We will first take this arm off the ball joint over here. In order to do that, we take the little um, hairpin style uh, clip off that goes around the collar of this uh, latch joint and uh, with that pin out of the way the um, uh, latch will come right off the joint i will lever it down with a screwdriver here we go it's off and we want this out of the way so that it's easier to move the uh, cylinder out underneath it later the other thing we want to do is uh, take this uh, spring clip off here it goes very simple once you know how it works and uh, then one more piece of prep work is take this t25 torque screw out that gives us a little more wiggle room on the uh, hose harness. Now uh, we're down to taking out the rear mounting pin that was just held in place with this one clip. Here's the rear mounting pin on the cylinder. Then we take out the front mounting collar style clip. All we have to do is um, Take a screwdriver into it and if I had stuck it in deep enough then the clip would not have fallen off in the last second. It's okay that it falls off, it's just that I wanted to show you how one can elegantly take it out keeping it on the screwdriver. Well, enough of that. Um, now we just push the cylinder down, wiggle it out of the front latch. It's a bit of a tight fit there. We can help it a little bit by uh, with a screwdriver and uh, keep wiggling a little bit until this comes out. And we can also push from the rear. Well, this is the first time I'm taking one of these out. I'm surprised at the tight fit in the front but here it is so now we pull this arm up pull the cylinder out here is our front latch cylinder and um, 
if you look at how close it is to the canvas here, if the cylinder is leaking, they typically leak first back here uh, near the mounting pins and one would think it's coming out of the hose but no, it's one of the rear seals in the cylinder. Top Hydraulics actually replaces and upgrades seven seals in these cylinders, makes them better than new inside. Well, I've said that before. Anyway, we uh, now are down to removing the two front hoses. That's number 61 at the shaft and number 62 at the rear. And uh, that is easily done by finding the small gap between the uh, fitting and the clip here. Sliding the clip out of the way. Do the same on the bottom. It's easier to do when you're not on camera, but here we go. We take the two clips out, put them in a safe place. If you've taken the core exchange option from Top Hydraulics, then you have your replacement cylinder in hand already. You can just pull these hoses out. One, two, old cylinder out of the way, new cylinder to be installed. As always, we put the hydraulic hose fitting, the O-ring onto the hydraulic hose fitting first. Push the fitting into the port straight and easy. Secure it with a clip. I'll push that clip in all the way later. I'll secure the Second O-ring, as always, the O-rings come with the cylinder from Top Hydraulics with instructions on how to install them and pre-lubed. I'm double checking if this thing didn't just fall off. Yes, it did. It's a good thing that Top Hydraulics always sends you a spare O-ring. Here it goes. We put on only one O-ring per fitting and put this back on. Put the clip back on. Now we can secure the clip. One, two, clipped into place. And we route the cylinder again the way it came out. But before that, I rescue the clip that I showed you earlier that you want to put the screwdriver into to kind of open it up and the same way it stays on your screwdriver. Actually, I need to do it this way around to get it back in. So here we have a nice tight fit on the screwdriver. I'll put that down for a moment, put the cylinder back where it belongs. And knowing that it was tight getting the clip out in the first place, um, I will create some tension here on the cylinder and make, see if this will allow me to just slide this clip back on. We just need to align everything exactly the way it was before and uh, well uh, I just had to wiggle it into the right position and uh, put tension on it so that I could get the clip on there all the way. Um, it's smart to fill this install the cylinder filled with fluid so that you can keep tension on the shaft. There's a little bit of air in here as you can see the cylinder moves a little bit but um, ultimately that allowed us to put enough tension on here to uh, get that clip reinstalled. And now we install the rear pin. And we reinstall our uh, latch arm and uh, put the uh, collar pin back on it. And we put the mounting, the retention pin for the uh, rear, uh, 
clip for the rear pin back on here there it goes and the t25 torx to get this routing so just a couple things left the um, hairpin style clip that goes back around this ball joint and uh, wrapping the canvas around here again